Hello! Quick side note, this episode wasn't made using a script, so if I make some mistakes whilst talking, I apologize. Have fun! Life is full of different events that make it special and unique, to each their own experience, as some might say. With that said, the main idea of these types of episodes is sharing my personal experiences that could perhaps make you laugh, smile, or even learn something new at the end of the day. And I'm well aware that it might not be everyone's taste to listen to these, but as for now, I wasn't really planning on making a separate podcast, maybe sometime in the future. But if you're not a fan of this type of content, you can also check out my blog site which will be linked down below, where I'll be writing about all kinds of stuff not related to these Dear Future Me episodes. So let's begin. Dear Future Me Today, while I was getting ready for work, I remembered one interesting event that happened not too long ago. And I have to admit, it did make me chuckle to myself. I bet as soon as I said that, you probably thought of some other memories that will make a great story in the future. But the one I had in mind was Zagreb. Now, Zagreb is the capital and largest city of a country in the Balkans called Croatia. It has many things to offer, anywhere from beautiful and interesting attractions related to nature, history, or even just a nice place to spend a weekend at. You might be wondering what I'm aiming at with this story, but I promise it'll be worth it in the end. In July 2019, just a year before the coronavirus pandemic hit, my sister had a school trip visiting many countries of Europe, such as Hungary, Slovenia, France, Spain, and many more along the way. The trip lasted around 14 days, I think, but I might be wrong, and it was also one of the first longest trips she went this far away, so naturally she was very excited. We all helped with packing and went together to the bus station near a historic museum, which is where the meetup point was. After about 50 minutes of waiting, she was on her way and we were all very happy for her, but of course, my parents were worried a bit on how the trip would go. Anyways, that's when I came to the awesome idea of us three also traveling somewhere, well, not that far, but just so we could put our minds to rest. After looking through many apartments on Booking and Trivago, we found one that was very beautiful and reasonably priced in Zagreb. Also, this is not sponsored. Um, yeah. We've been there before a few times, some business trips, others just passing by, or even stopping by for a vacation. And since we didn't want my sister worrying on how our trip is, we decided not to tell her. Friday afternoon, my dad picked up my mom and I after work and the journey could begin. I don't remember much details, but I think it took us like 5-7 to seven hours to get there, which actually isn't that long considering the fact that we had to wait at the border for around 1 hour-ish. We arrived there at 10 p.m. and went straight to bed. The next morning was a beautiful sunny day, birds were chirping and everything seemed so wonderful. One thing I really appreciated at that place was all the views from the balconies. Seriously, one of the best ones I had seen at that time. The next few days we spent it shopping and just walking around town visiting famous museums like the Museum of Nikola Tesla. Truly a wonderful experience. We were there for 4 days, but I still felt very sad when we were about to leave and come back home. Our new journey started around 10am. Not even 20 minutes into the drive, the car engine light turned on, but we brushed it off since it wasn't a rare occasion that it would turn on and nothing would be wrong. Then it started accelerating in a weird way, which is when my mom told us to pull up before we go on the highway, which of course I'm very thankful we did. We parked near a shopping center and call up the towing service. We waited around 30 minutes and it was very hot outside so we were trying our best not to be as much on the sun. Once they came, a very nice lad helped tow our car but since we didn't have a place to stay at, all three of us decided to get in his truck. Now, keep in mind, this was a very small truck that had no AC and it only had three seats altogether, so we somehow scooched up next to each other. Thinking back to that moment just makes me laugh, the way the driver, bless his soul, had a towel and was cooling himself off while swearing at the car in front of us. Once we came to the mechanics, they told us it would take them 6 days to fix it, which was not good since my parents had work. One thing led to another and we found a car renting service. All the paperwork took like 4 hours and by the time everything was ready, it was 4pm. Fast forward, 6 days later, my sister came back home and that was the day when we told her everything that happened to us and that we actually needed to make another trip so we can return the rented car and pick up our own. Needless to say, her reaction and expression were priceless. 
Even though it might not be a good experience to have, it still is a very good memory and never fails to make us all laugh when we remember it. Why laugh? Well, simply how it all happened, some facial expressions my parents and sister made, and of course the people we met. Oh, right, I forgot to say, but this was also the time when we met Tom Hanks, who was, by the way, one of the sweetest human beings you could ever meet.